Hello and welcome to Keep Information Systems Simple video on Power BI, adding data, analyzing data, and filtering the data. Super sim simple video here. Um, from our last video, we did an import of bike sales or sales from a company um, that lists all of their different fields, customer city, customer name, state, date, material name, material number, month, order, item, profit margin, quantity, quarter, revenue, unit, cost, unit price, and, and year. So we're going to dive into this data here, and I'm just going to look at customer name. And if I click customer name, you can see that by default, uh, Power BI starts to generate a different, several different reports for me. So in this situation, we have um, some of cost of goods sold. So cost of goods sold, we can see that furniture city, um, bikes, sum of goods sold is $1,125,524.15. Um, but we're going to want more than just that. We're going to want to summarize that. Let's, let's dive in and let's add the year here. And we can see that immediately we get, again, different graphs. It'll show us the breakdown of, of sales per year, um, per organization. The great thing about this is that we can filter this a little bit. And so let's let's take um, customer name and our year. We want to make sure that it is not summarized. We can see that that is not summarized. If we summarize the years, it puts all of this data into one generic view. It combines all of the years. Well, I want to be able to break it down year by year to start figuring that out. So I'm going to say don't summarize my year. Um, the customer name, I am not going to summarize, so it breaks each customer down. Um, I'm just going to click on 2022, and we'll notice that it starts to give us these different graphs, or graphs change, right? Now, um, sum of unit price, let's do sum of cost of goods sold. So sum of cost goods for Philly Bikes, if I put my mouth o mouse over it, the customer name is Philly Bikes. The sum of goods sold is $798,394.91. That is all of Philly bikes. The highlighted, which is $429,400.70, is only for 2022. And so you can start to use these to do some filtering down on your data. You also can open your filters option here. And as you start selecting on different data sets, personalize this visualization, you can start to make changes and start to customize. And so let's say I want to get rid of all of this excess data and I only want to see silicone, oh, let's do Rocky Mountain bikes. So I select Rocky Mountain bikes and now my data changes and it shows me just the 1.2 million. If I click on 2022, you will see that for Rocky Mountain, uh, 1.2, $1,219,090.82. The highlighted area, which correlates to year 2022, is $620,551.98. We also could make this super simple. Change our filter for our year is, and set this to 2022. Apply the filter, and 2022, and we're gonna come up here and we're gonna see 2022, 620,000. So inside of these different filters, different views, you just gotta kinda of, uh, make your selection as to what you wanna see and, and then start filtering out on each individual report to get the data you want. 